Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Mark with his movie 90115. Let's take a little clip. It's my first day at the Andrew Jackson Post Office, zip code 92115. Mr. Bradford. Nice cock. Huh? Hey, hey sexy hey, mailman! Nick, you <laughs> These are the things that haunt your nightmares the first couple of weeks. Mark, thank you for being here and coming from our neighbors, San Diego. That's right. Appreciate you having me. Down south, here. yeah. Down, down south. Mm -hmm. um, loved your film. Thank you. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a little bit about your film. Uh, well, it was um, directed by Kevin Nostratus, and it was actually based on an article by Ryan Bradford, adapted by Jordan Jacobo. I was just an actor in it and also a producer. Mm -hmm. Just. Uh, just, but, only just, yeah. <laughs> only just, yeah. <laughs> uh, but basically, it's about the uh, trials and tribulations of a uh, temporary um, postal service uh, mm -hmm. mailman. In nine two one one five. It's so fascinating. Like I've I've never seen a story about that before. I've always kind of wondered what goes on in their daily life, sort of thing. And it was just such a fascinating story. And I love yeah. that this was taken from an article and turned into a film. Yeah, yeah, it was taken from an article in uh, San Diego City Beat, which is equivalent to, I don't know, maybe like uh, your LA Weekly or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, and then adapted for screen by Jordan Jacobo uh, and actually the director as well, Kevin Nostratus. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was some uh, improv as well on set as well. And we just uh, did some castings. It was for a student project. Yeah. Um, and I made the mistake a couple nights ago at a Q&A saying uh, it was for a student uh, adult film. And yeah. It was actually not a student adult film. It so was uh, uh, a film by uh, adult students. So we can clarify that on camera. That's really good yes. to do. Thank you. Yes. No, ex well, what was also fascinating to me is I, 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 uh, I watched your film and I thought this was, it looked quite, yeah, you obviously had to, you know, you'd use vehicles and mm -hmm. it was very stylistic. And I was like, wow, there's, there was a, a, high, a high production value for this film. And then you, and then you, you shocked the entire audience last night by yeah. saying, actually, you kept within a pretty good budget. Yeah, it was definitely, it was probably between the two to three hundred range. Two to three hundred dollars. I think, yeah. oh, I'm only saying that, Mark, because your film is so good and that should inspire anyone that puts money in the way. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we, we, we didn't get permission from the, we tried, but yeah. they just didn't grant it, uh, grant it to us, the, uh, uh, the Postal Service. Um, so we kind of had to improvise and come up with our own logo and uniforms from uh, courtesy of the Salvation Army. <laughs> so you're uh, a really good producer then, if you can make that happen. I mean, I'm, geez. I'm like the San Diego Roger Corman. Oh, no, oh okay, I love I'm not, it. I'm not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was like absolutely fascinated and amazed because honestly, the things that you were doing, mm -hmm. and I love some of the stories you were sharing to us, which I'll get to in a moment, but yep. let's talk about your cast. Obviously, sure. you, had a, you had a starring role in there as well, which was great. Yeah. Um, and I love, uh, obviously you've got a, a background in stand-up comedy, so sure. I was like, where are you getting these comedic? Improv. Impro and, yeah, yeah, very good. Comedic characters. Comedic characters. Yeah. How was it, how was it taking on that role? Was it was it really good for you? Oh yeah, it was great. Um, uh, so we cast a guy uh, named Luke Monday, who's yeah. great in the role. So good. Um, originally, when I was kind of producing, I'm like, well, I could be Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then that just didn't work out. So I'm like, all right, whatever. That's fine. Because <laughs> we cast this other guy. Uh, he's got a strong musical background, um, but he killed it as Ryan Bradford. Yeah. Uh, and then my character is supposed to be, uh, he plays kind of a, a jerky boss, we'll say, uh, with a Napoleon complex. And the reason why we gave him that yeah. is because in real life, the real Craig, the boss, was supposed to be about like six three or four or something uh -huh, like that, uh -huh. ex-military, bald. Oh, gotcha. So we just, that's hence my awful hair piece that I got at a uh, Spirit Halloween store. On I was going to ask, $3. Yeah. For, see, this, yeah. you're a good producer. You're making it happen on a, on a budget. I think everyone should be hiring you to produce, honestly. <laughs> um, no, it was just a really nice story because I think it's one of those areas of the United States. It's mm -hmm. a, you know, a, a, a kind of thankless job mm -hmm. and you don't really know what one goes through. Is it kind of something, a sort of testament you wanted to sort of almost give back to a your community and b the fact that you know this is this is kind of an experience of a, a position that we kind of take for granted a little bit being a producer you mean being a producer yeah. but also the kind of story concept of of being in the postal service too oh i mean yeah it's a thankless job no no question and, and honestly after making this every time i see my mailman especially i just kind of look at him you know say 
Yep. Thank you for your service. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, really, because yeah, that's yeah. what they do every day, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, know? and, and their, their motto is uh, through, I think, uh, what, through rain and sleet and snow or whatever. And we mm -hmm. actually put that on the, uh, the poster, mm -hmm. and then we added the word poop because, yep. well... Yeah. There's a there's a reference to that in the movie, which yep. uh, actually did happen in real life. Uh, oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah. In, in in the actual article, it was it was one of those mailboxes that you drop the letters in versus uh, one of the more traditional residential mailboxes. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the kind of what what we didn't want to tamper with that because that is a federal offense tampering with the uh, the mailboxes. So I think you should yeah. write a book about just all how to get around certain things. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you were sharing some stories last night that I was like. Wow, like, so when you mentioned, obviously, that there was this, you know, massive budget that you obviously had to make this film. Yes. Uh, I, I was like, well, how did you do the car scenes and stuff like mm -hmm. that? And obviously, you couldn't use the actual United Postal Services, you know, obviously, that's, nah. thank you, guys, yeah. uh, USPS. Uh, but you actually got a, you used a, you know, a van. Yeah, right? a U-Haul van, yeah. A U-Haul van, uh -huh, and, uh -huh. and, and then how you, how did you make it move again? So, yeah, yeah, basically, you know, we didn't have the budget to throw on all the, you know, the cranks and, uh, and all that stuff for the cameras. So we just had it in park and then I was in the back bouncing on the rear bumper. S yes, so it kind of gave it the, <laughs> you know. I, I was blown away by that. And then, and then that being said, I was mm -hmm. like, okay, so, you know, you had a, the cinematography mm -hmm. was so good. Who is this seasoned, you know, cinematographer? Uh, that's like a 16 or 17 year old kid named Aiden Kelter. I've worked with him before. He's like a prodigy, uh, homeschooled, but, uh, Honestly, he's like one of the smartest kids I know, one of the most talented people. I'm going to be working with him again. Actually, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, I'm just projects, like, so. it's just, I just couldn't believe all these things that you, you obviously found really good team to work with yes. and you overcame a lot of, you know, challenges. Yeah. Um, aside from kind of the obvious, was there any kind of challenges that you faced that you were like, as a producer, like, oh my goodness? I mean, just uh, just like the budget. Uh, yeah. But honestly, like I said, we, we, we managed to do okay without, you yeah. know, without going over three hundred dollars you know and even the uh, the start even the you know i think i think it's so important sometimes that we take it for granted but i love it when there's uh credits that you kind of have that's like kind of fun and different oh, maybe yes, the post share a reflection of the film but you had yeah. a good art director even for that as well yes didn't you? yes yes yeah. we had the, the post credits we have like uh the, the lettered kind yeah. of credits i've always it's been a clever. big fan of that yeah yeah really really and, clever uh, the other thing i'm i'm, I'm actually really uh, want to give a shout out to is um our poster guy. Mm. Uh, if you haven't seen the poster yet, it's kind of like a cartoonish. Really fact, cool. I, me oh, being you the do? Producer oh, is this that a big I reveal? Am. Oh, I love well, it. Well, no, this is, we're going to get to the big reveal in a minute. Oh, okay. But uh, yes, this is Look Edgar this Rodriguez, uh, who I've worked with several oh, times. Oh, my He's goodness. the one who designed this poster. Oh, I, I kind of gave him a couple of options, but that there's is, Cartoon Me, there's the Ryan yeah. Bradford, but. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It actually won an award at a festival a couple weeks ago, and uh, I saw him at a, a couple weeks ago. He's doing good, and I'll be working with him again on, on posters, but it's just part of the promotion, right? Of course. Yeah. Of course. But again, you know, Marketing is a very important thing, as you know, as a producer as well. So you made that happen as well. Yes. What's it like to turn this, you know, article into making the film, into seeing it on the big screen, have it in New Filmmakers LA? What's that experience like for you as a filmmaker to see it on the big screen with an audience who get to react to it? For me, it's, it's really cool because I, you know, helped make it. But I think it'd be really cool to be inside the mind of uh, Ryan Bradford, who mm -hmm. lived it, mm -hmm. wrote about it. It was adapted. And then all of a sudden, it's uh, made it uh, into the film festival circuit. Does he, he know? Oh, yeah, he knows. Oh, yeah. And I invited him up. Unfortunately, he was uh, he's at a wedding in Baja. But, oh, okay. uh, but he was at the opening premiere we had down in San Diego and he he was um, very memorized I don't know That's I guess fantastic. it's because uh, he's he's not a script writer he's yeah. he's an article writer or yeah or whatever a novelist uh, whatever uh, but uh, yeah he he had nothing but good things to say about it I think it was also great as, 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 as filmmakers you never know where your idea could be sparked from like it could be an article it could be a series of photographs it could be something and I love right. that you turn this idea into a film as well I think that's wonderful we did that, yes. um, what is next for you Mark um, well, first of all, I, I, I got a gift for you. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. A gift? Me, I don't get gifts. Me being from San Diego, oh, of course. We're, we're known for, for, for uh, our Comic Con yep. and our craft beer. So I know this is the end of your day, uh, end of the interview, so I wanted to go uh, ahead and we give have a you. Beer? Yes. Oh, a my. beer for and you. It's cold. Yes. I don't believe And a beer this, for this. me. Oh, my God. This is to San Diego and LA. Can we open this of now? Of course we oh, can. Okay. Yes, All why right. not? This is, this you is know, back in the day, we used to have drinking in our times. interviews, but the oh. problem is, I did 10 of them, and then, of course, they kept refitting my glass, and I got a little bit. <clears throat> so, okay. you know. So well, you're, you're uh, British? I'm British. I'm Irish, so I figured that, uh, you know. 
we could talk film and drink beer. I, I love it. And that she, the, the, thank you very much for that. Yes. And the saying is, is that the further you go south of California, the nice people get. So here you go, because I've got a beer in my hand. So thank you very much <laughs> yes, San Diego. Yes, this is modern times, uh, sour tropical fruit. Oh, so, this is delightful. Yeah, it's not a bad Sunday afternoon drink. Oh, you, I can't believe <laughs> you hid this in your pocket and the beer is chilled. Well, I just, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm just, thank you very much for that. Yeah. I am uh, over 21 for anyone questioning it, or (laughs) I'm sure no one is, but they are. Uh, Anyways, no, thank, no, I really, I really, this is delightful. Thank you very much. I might bring back drinking to the interviews again, because it was a good idea. There we go. Um, I'm a pioneer. You're you're a pioneer. (laughs) What, what, so what is next for you, Mark? Oh, uh, so we've got, uh, I've got a couple of scripts that I've wrote and probably will uh, direct. I didn't direct the 92115, that was Kevin, but, um, um, Shorts, so maybe yeah. we'll be back here. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. And then I actually helped produce uh, a big budgeted uh, short over the summer. So that uh, 9215 was about, yeah, like I said, like $250 maybe. Um, this one was $50,000. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. We got. Uh, I love you sad. went. See, did you hear that? You went from two, two to three hundred yeah. to fifty thousand dollars Yeah, just like that. Nah, yeah, there, there were several in between, but um, yeah, yeah. So, but it's just, uh, you know, a lot of, a big range in a short amount of time. Aside from being uh, so wonderfully generous uh, with this beer, and so, and mm. I honestly could not have prayed for anything better right now. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. Um, but aside from uh, aside from that, um, I think what's so wonderful to even just to hear your story mm-hmm. um, is that you just make things happen, you know. Mm-hmm. And also, you do it with a, a good essence of humor. Yeah. You get things done, and I feel like as a producer, you actually you know, make people feel comfortable and, 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 and you just accomplish it. And I think that's great. So for you as a filmmaker, mm-hmm. is there any kind of pieces of advice that you have sure. that you could share with anybody else out there? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, one of my mottos, I don't know if I saw it on a bumper sticker or I just randomly came up with it, but it's uh, lose the attitude and show the gratitude. And just be, you know, like, uh, thanks for having us. Thanks for um, doing what you did uh, here at the filmmakers and spotlighting San Diego um, of course so there's that uh, but the other thing is um, it is a business yeah so and I'm newer to it that's why I'm at new filmmakers right but uh, in my short time that I, I've, been, I've learned a lot and I think that uh, you got to realize that it is a business it's not just an art I mean it's an artistic business yeah but without the uh, the business side that's you just so uh, I mean there's not a lot of money in shorts but there yeah. is a process you got to uh, promote it yeah, sure. of course. Uh, and then yeah, submit it to film festivals yeah. and uh, yeah, all that jazz. So I, I really I think, love that you said that. I mean, yeah. firstly, it was great to have a show in San Diego. I think it's there's so many amazing filmmakers that come from from our neighbors, and, yeah. that, and it's it's wonderful. And also, film set in San Diego too. Sure, so yeah, it's a love letter to, to San Diego and San Diego Film Consortium as yeah. well. Oh yeah, because um, they're a fantastic organization that we love working with. So, so yeah, I, I think that you've that you've done that, and I think I'm glad. One thing that you said that I really liked um, a lot, which I think we all, everybody, even on this set, Mm -hmm. that I think is important for everyone to even realize and that I've always tried to accomplish is, which is, you know, lose the attitude and show the gratitude. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? I love that so much and I can't tell you how important that, that is so important to a set, isn't it? When you've got everyone on the same team. set in the industry, especially a small one like, you know, down in San Diego, it's a very small community. Everyone knows everyone. So you want to make sure you kind of don't burn bridges and, yeah. and I'm sure that's only the truth here in LA too, but it's just, instead of a small pond, it's a bigger, it is. Odd. No, thank you. Well, listen, Mark, <laughs> yeah. it's been a joy to have you. Likewise. Thank you um, for 90115. Yeah. Keep making more movies for us and entertaining us. And thank you very much for this beer. Congratulations. Thank you very Cheers much. Everyone. Cheers. Mark Rubo, thank you very much. Yeah.